Welcome to another episode of Building a Windows 8 App in 8 Minutes with Justine and Anker. Today, we're going to tackle a simple soundboard app. Before we jump into the how, I'm going to demo the kinds of apps you can build using this template. This app is in store right now, and it's called Learn the Sounds of the Jungle. When you launch the app, you see the images of six really cool animals, and the idea is that any child can click on any one of these animals and hear the sound that that animal makes. By the end of this tutorial, you will be able to build an app like this and apply it to any inspired ideas you might have all within eight minutes. Before we get started, you need to make sure that you have downloaded Construct 2, which is Skira's app development tool. Once you have it downloaded, make sure you download the six image soundboard template from the link below and then double click on it. This is going to open up the app in Skira's Construct 2. There are three things you need to know about the structure of this template before you can get started. Click on Projects. Here you can see the Layout section. The Layout section basically shows you the different screens that a user will see when they experience the app. When you select the Start Screen Layout, it is going to show you the start screen for the app. Similarly, if you select the soundboard layout, which is the main body of the app where you can interact with the images and hear the sounds linked to each image, you can edit how your app looks and feels. Then there is the events sheet section. This basically houses all of the code associated with the app. For example, the soundboard code, which you can see on this screen right now, houses all the code that powers the soundboard layout. Lastly, you should be familiar with the sound section. This is where we import sounds that are going to be associated with the app that we are going to build today. Let's get started. The first step is to import the sounds. Right click on the sounds folder and select import sounds. Then go to the folder where you've saved the sounds. So I've saved the sounds for our app right here. I click on that and then I'm going to select all of these sounds that I'm going to use for this specific app. Then you click on open and select import. This will import all the sound files to the folder called sounds, which we opened up initially. So here we have lightsaber one, two, three, and so on. Now let's start to customize the app, beginning with the start screen. Double click on the start screen, which brings this up. Now double click here to replace the background. So this is going to open up the image editor and then you choose this folder shaped icon to load the image that you want to use. And then we are going to use this background image which I've saved here. Once you have this on screen, press X which replaces the background with that specific image. As you can see, the images aren't sized correctly, so to fix that, select the background image select properties and then click on the size properties and make it 1366 comma 768 which is the standard size of the background for a Windows 8 app. Now we're going to customize the text. All you do is select the text, make sure the properties tab is selected and in the text properties section here you can edit the text to make it whatever you please. So let's call it lightsaber sounds. As you can see, the text has been customized. And then you can change the size of the text box any way you see fit, just as you would in any standard word processing application. Now we are going to customize the description box. Similarly, you're going to click on the box, go back to the text property associated with that box, and type out, select the image of the lightsaber to hear it. And then you can select and move it anywhere you want on the screen. Now we are going to learn how to customize the actual body of the template. Double click on the soundboard section. As you can see, the background image has already been replaced. Once again, you're going to select the background image, select properties, and change the size to make it match. So we'll make it standard. Again, it's 1366,768. And now we're going to start replacing each of these images with the image of a lightsaber that we have already saved here. So let's replace image one with an image of this lightsaber. And remember, the method is similar to last time. You double click on the image, click on the folder shaped icon, and then select the image you want to replace image two with. Press open and then press X.
Let's replace one more so we have at least three to experiment with. And then following that, we're going to learn how to link the sounds to each of these. The one thing you have to remember is that all of these images are of different sizes. So you're going to want to select these three images and in the properties section, choose a size that aesthetically appeals to you. I'm going to go with 300 by 300, but you could choose anything like 250 by 250. And you can see it's perfectly aligned. Now let's assume we've set this template up and the rest of the images are complete. We are now going to learn how to make changes to the actual code. So go to Projects, go back to Events Sheet section, and choose the soundboard called Events Sheet, which is code that powers the code associated with the soundboard layout that you have open right now. For each of these sections you see here, we need to replace the audio file that plays along with the new images. So when image 1 of the green lightsaber is touched, you right click on this and then choose edit, you're able to replace the audio file that it plays. So I'm going to choose lightsaber 1 and then you press done. Now when you click on the image, it's going to play the lightsaber 1 sound. Following similar methodology, we are going to replace sounds associated with the other two lightsaber images and clicked done. And lastly, the third lightsaber image is going to play lightsaber three. And now let's give the app a whirl. So here is the start screen. When you click next, it goes to this image. And when you click on one of the lightsaber sounds, you'll be able to hear the sound matched with it perfectly. And there you go, a Windows 8 app in eight minutes.